Hi everybody, this is Lee. We're going to discuss some support and resistance for the month of April 2023. And I'd like to thank Genesis for allowing me to use charts from the Trade Navigator software to put out there and show you guys. We're going to look at the monthly SPY uh, as a proxy for the overall market. As I often say, it is not. The NASDAQ, the Dow, the Russell 2000, they can all go their own way. They don't have to go with the S&P. But it's the closest thing we got, so it's what we're using. And what we're looking at on this chart is just simple three-period moving averages. This is a three-period moving average of the highs. Add up the last three highs together and divide them by three. Plot it on the chart. Same thing on the lows. Last three lows added together, divided by three, plotted on the chart. The only thing I do is instead of plotting it on the bar that it happened, I move it forward one bar. Uh, you can see we got the low pretty good last month. Um, I think the low, we, we said 382 and the low was 380.65. You know, that's close enough if you work for the government, right? Um, and let me show you that on a daily chart. This is, a, this is the daily SPY and that low was actually down here. But what I wanted to show you is how impressive the daily looks. This day right here was March 28th. And I was trading it, so I remember this clearly. They weren't right at the low, but they weren't very far off the low with about 10 minutes to go in the day. And they all of a sudden rallied up to the close. The vast majority of this bar from this low to the close occurred in the last 10 minutes. And I didn't understand why. No, there was no news that I was aware of. Nothing had changed. And boy, that started boom, 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 just a really fierce rally. Now, as impressive as this looks, it's good to get the perspective of going back to the monthly because not so impressive here, right? I mean, the October low, this was October of 2022. This low looked really good to me and I expect it to hold for a while. And, and I mean, so far it has, but they're not exactly blowing up out of this. I know the media sounds like, oh boy, what a great start to the year, but Honestly, this is more sideways than anything else. It's not a fierce rally off of that low when you look at it from a monthly perspective. So uh, obviously running up off of that low, you expect the target to be the high. That's a simplistic way we look at it. And they've come really, really close and turned off of it already in the first couple days of April. Now, does that mean they're done? Maybe. It's a possibility. For this month, we're looking at that 412 area and we're looking at about 384 down here as the potential low. And I think it's pretty obvious. You can see that the, the bands are kind of getting closer together, right? The distance between these moving averages is getting closer, which again suggests that we don't have a whole lot of energy driving in one direction, that the, the market's just kind of going sideways and the volatility shrinking a little bit. And that usually precedes a big directional move. The only problem is the timing of it isn't really predictable. So could they take out this 412 high we're talking about and just explode higher? Well, they sure could. They'll have to take out this high and this high, which both act as resistance, but they could, heck, they could be back up testing this high if they wanted to be. But could they blow down and test the October low? Yep, that's possible too. Um, the, when you get the indication that a breakout is imminent, the direction is very rarely shown to you. It just lets you know that a breakout is possibly coming. The one little tool I use to help me a little bit, and I emphasize a little bit, this isn't huge, but I always run a, a really short-term five-period RSI with a 13-period exponential moving average of that RSI. And when the market is sideways, I like to see if the RSI is basically trading above or below the moving average. Now, this is not a huge indicator here. It's not like it's, it's massively one way or the other, but by and large, during this sideways, that RSI is above its moving average. So if I had to guess, I'd say a breakout is more likely to the upside. But again, that's not really predictable. What I'm looking at is 412 as resistance, 384 as support. And when they get to those areas, we go down in time frames, go down to the daily, go down to the hourly 30 minute, whatever you got. 
go down and see how the market is behaving in that area, and that should tell you whether that area is likely to hold or not. Hopefully you can do that successfully, certainly what I'm going to try to do. Have a good month trading, guys.